This next guy used to be a school teacher, and you'll be able to see some of uh, the vestiges of that in his next uh, little program. <clears throat> this is Robbie Stanley. Robbie Stanley is a physics teacher at the end chemistry, physics and chemistry teacher at Discovery Place in Charlotte. And because he did that, I said, why don't you do a little something like on classroom management? So right now we're going to have a little program from Robbie about classroom management. All right, thank you very much. Ready to go, Stan, everybody. All right, my name is Robbie Stanley. I am from Discovery Place in Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, he was saying classroom management. I'm thinking acoustics, but uh, this, this is a bullwhip. Oh, by the way, uh, if you're really, really close, it's going to be loud, and of course, you can do the math of how loud it's going to be, ever how many meters you are beyond that. Here we go. All right, so that's a bullwhip. Yeah, thank you. Uh, first, let me uh, talk a little bit about how I got started, because, uh, you know, this isn't your average thing to get involved in, apparently. Um, I got started when I was teaching in uh, Central Florida. I thought, all right, I'm going to teach my students about uh, some acoustic properties and uh, breaking the sound barrier. And I thought, well, I'm a little brother. Where are the little brothers in the house? All right. So you know your big brother taught you acoustic properties by taking a towel, dipping the end of it in water, spinning it thusly, and you learned a lot about energy in that way. So I thought, well, I'm going to try something else. So um, I thought, I'm going to try a whip. Now, uh, when I first started out uh, you know, on a teacher's salary, I, I, I called some people, how much are whips? Oh, they're $10, 20 $30 a foot. What else do you have, all right? So uh, I first started off with this right here. This is a wax cut, so you can make whips out of all kinds of different materials. And uh, you can even build a whip yourself. And I will tell you this, after the program, I will be right over there. I will show you how you can make a whip yourself. This is whip here is made out of PVC pipe, athletic tape, uh, some tennis grips, some uh, uh, rope, and some twine and stuff. And does it work? Well, this cost me about $40. And you see, it works just fine. Now. How does it actually work? Well, I'm going to try to go uh, a little slow and show you kind of how it works because it does happen very fast. When you hear that boom, you're actually hearing a sonic boom. So that means the whip here, this little tip that you see right there, will actually travel in excess of 760 miles an hour. 760 miles an hour. If you speak metric, we're talking like 340 meters a second, all right? Now, how does it do this? Watch closely. Every, every whip crack that you do, you're actually putting a curve into the whip. Watch, I'm going to try to go very slow. Put a little curve into the whip. When you put that energy into it, because that's what a bullwhip basically is, it's a study in energy management, which is what you study in physics. This handle right here acts as a bit of a lever. You put the energy in here, the energy begins to travel through the material of the whip. This particular material is uh, going to be paracord. So very, very strong, very resilient material. Notice what happens to the material as it goes down. It gets less in density. The mass is a lot less. And as it gets to this part right here, which is called the fall, the mass gets even less until you get all the way down to this, uh, this particular cracker and popper is made out of nylon twine. And once you get there to the end, it's going 760 miles an hour. That turn that you put in there, watch again, I'm going to try to go slow. That little turn that you put, watch right, you see that traveling down there. That curve that you put in there, by the time it makes it to the end, that's where you get that energy. All right, well, I'm going to try to do a few more things here. Uh, let's see if I can, uh, uh, somebody earlier was asking, uh, can they volunteer for this uh, thing that I'm going to do? This is not something you want to volunteer for. All right. Well, that's what happens when there's a little bit of water on there. You can actually see the tip right there. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to crack a few of these things. There we go. All right, I'm going to try for that one there. There we go. So uh, notice, I am wearing safety goggles, long pants, and long sleeves. I have cut myself several times to practice. This is something that if it hits you, it's going to leave a mark. It really will. All right, I'm going to try for this balloon. Now look, if I hit this within, let's say, three tries, I want you guys to go crazy. All right, if I hit it the first try, 
I mean, we're talking pandemonium, all right? <laughs> if it takes maybe two, you know, at least a, all right, that's a fine job. That was a fine job. If it's one, at least a golf clap and what's the next session, all right? So here we go. Let's try it. I'm going to try a different little technique. This is simply called the flick. There's a lot of different types out there. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, I'm going to try on the other side over here. There we go. Now, a lot of times people do ask me, all right, so Indiana Jones, right? Can you actually swing from the thing? And the answer is no, not unless you want it. You see, I've cut the very tip off of that one. Not unless you want your whip to break, all right? Now, the best whippers in the world, that's a very strong balloon there. <laughs> yeah. It's not how we did it in practice. All right. Uh, the best whippers in the world can actually take a brochure like that, and there's actually competitions all around the world. The Australians are the best whippers in the world. They'll tell you that. If you, uh, the best whippers in the world can take a brochure like that and 14 or 15 times slice the thing. It's, it's amazing to see. I can only cut it in half. All right. Well, that was good that one. All right, I'm going to crack it a couple more times and call it a day. And uh, again, I will tell you this. If you want to see more of the whips, and even I'll show you how to do a do-it-yourself whip, and I will teach you how to crack a whip. See me right over here after the program. All right, a couple more times. Here we go. Robbie Stanley from Discovery Place. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.